Hey guys, welcome to the Game and Party channel. I'm Mike Davis, and I'm here with Chad Elkins, the founder of 25th Century Games. Hey Mike. And we've got a great game here, Jurassic Parts. Parts. Make Not sure to be confused with the uh, motion picture. Yes, exactly. With a one letter difference, yeah. Well, this game looks beautiful, <laughs> Thank uh, you. and I love uh, dinosaur themes. Tell us about it. What is the game about? So Jurassic Parts is an area enclosure and set collection game. Okay. So what I mean by area enclosure is we have this whole grid here, uh, this slab of rock, and we are all paleontologists, okay. so we are coming out to the rock, and there's all kinds of fossils mixed up in here. Some are visible, and then some are face down. All the face down tiles have fossils underneath them. Oh, okay. You just don't right. know what they are until you uncover them. Oh, okay, gotcha, okay. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use our chisels to put cracks in the slab, and we're trying to break off a section from the, from the rest of it. Oh, okay. So most of the breaks are gonna occur you know, probably toward an edge, right? Because right. it's just easier to kind of weave your way across. Right. But you could have a break that gets enclosed in the middle, right? And you would just pluck that section out. Oh, okay. So once once a piece is broken off from the slab, you remove it out, you know, from the rest of it, and you'll reveal all the tiles so you know what's there. All right. And every person who contributed to the crack will that's, they get to choose from what's there. Oh, okay. But you choose based on. The mo whoever had the most chisels on it gotcha, gets okay. first choice. All right. Next what, player gets next choice. What's the tiebreaker? So the tiebreaker would be if you were the active player and you're part of the tie, yep. then you break the tie. Oh, gotcha. Or it goes clockwise around. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. But uh, so but you, you get half. So it's not just picking one at a time. If oh, I'm first place, oh. whatever's there, I get half of them. Oh. Okay. Second place, it's half. Oh. Third nice. place, half. So it's, it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Okay. And if there happens to be a remainder, it would go to the field leader. And then we have a, an amber-based currency system. So you'll, you'll earn amber by completing right. dinosaur sets. So obviously you're grabbing these parts. Right. What you're trying to do uh, is actually assemble them into sets of dinosaurs. Oh, okay, so you're trying to make the whole dinosaur. So yeah, Brachiosaurus that is, cool. is you know, cool five hexes, guide. so it's worth more points than the little Velociraptor is only two hexes. Gotcha, uh, then there's that a, is th cool. There's also a plant-based scoring system. So there, okay. there's eight plants in the game. They all okay. look the same, but they have a progressive scoring track. So the more you, you get, right. the more they're worth individually. Okay. Uh, but wait, so then you have a field leader. If you complete a dinosaur, you earn a piece of amber. You can also choose, if you get a fossil piece that you know what, I don't want this piece. I'm not going right. after the Brachiosaurus, right, right. so I don't really need it. I can sell it to the field leader to also get amber, and then I can use that amber to purchase abilities from him to help me kind of further, you know, right. my progression. Right, right, right. That's cool. So that's the game. Basically, you'll go all to the, the board will continue to shrink, you know, as yeah. it's getting carved out. Uh, then once all the pieces are gone, then you just tally up your points. Nice. Well, it looks pretty simple to play. I love the artwork on this. This is great. Who did the artwork on this one? So the, the design of the game is uh, Kevin Lansing. Uh -huh. So Kevin did uh, all the Flashpoint Fire Rescue games. Oh, yeah. So the cooperative firefighting games. Nice, nice. Fantastic game. Love that game. Uh, it's his design. And it's, it's so like just easy to get into and easy to teach. Uh, and if you're the fourth player in the game, all right. We could just start playing, nice. and when it gets to your turn, you're like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Nice. Uh, and who, did then the the, artwork, who did the artwork? Yeah. It's uh, Andrew Bosley. Oh, nice. So, okay. Everdell, Tapestry, yeah. a lot of beautiful games. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Andrew is absolutely, is incredibly talented. Good stuff. And uh, one of the things we're really excited about, not only just the, the overall art, but um, the characters in the game, uh, we're very excited and proud about. We have a very diverse set of characters, and, yeah. and, and we feel very, really excited to bring kind of that both body and, and gender right, right. And, and race inclusion and you know, out to, to the game market. Nice. Well, that's awesome, man. It looks great. Thank you. There you go, guys. That is Jurassic Parts by 25th Century Games. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Chad. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our podcast. And you can find us on all of our social media sites on GameAndParty.com. See you on the next video.